Hello guys, welcome to Focus TV my YouTube channel and this vlog. And today, allow me to make a special vlog for welcoming the UK election this year. I have to kiss the Union Jack first. I have to kiss this Union Jack first because I love my country, the UK. Because I really love the UK so far, like ever since to fix the electric problem first. Because I really love the UK as my nation, I already kissed the Union Jack and accompanies me right now. Let me first begin to say this. On general election, 8 June. 2017, which means five days to come. Because today, because I made this vlog on the third day of June 2017, I would prefer a grand coalition government between the Labour, the Liberal Democrats, the SNP, the Greens, and Clive Cameron party who stand except Labour parties who stand on the last summer's referendum on last year's referendum to stay in the European Union and I am an ardent Remainer or Remona either Jeremy Corbyn Tim Farron or Nick Clegg should be the Prime Minister I would prefer a coalition of that mentioned parties in Westminster after the general election 2017 happened and I would not endorse Tories and the UK. And I also frequently call for a second EU referendum to be heard and make the Remainers' aspiration to be heard. 16.1 million Remainers now increase to 17.5 up until 18 million Remainers have demanded for a second EU referendum, which was previously rejected by the Tory government. I think Tory... I think the Tories now is such a bullshit. It's a light version of UKIP. UKIP is a hardline Eurosceptic, which is haram in Islam. Because UKIP taught British people to be racist, to be Islamophobic, to be immigrantophobic, in which is not a good value of any religion. Every religion, even God, taught us to know each other. God teach us to know each other without without seeing backgrounds. God doesn't teach us teach us to be racist. God doesn't teach us to be anti-immigrant and anti-religion. So UKIP is the real party of blasphemers of God. You should not vote for UKIP. Tories is a light version of UKIP because Tories now, because Tories actually a soft Eurosceptic party in which, except several member, except several. Pro Europhile Tories like Kenneth Clark, Anna Solbury, among others, among several Europhile Tories, real Europhile Tories are blasphemers of God. Because most of because most Tories politicians are also believe in anti-immigrant, anti-Islam, and anti-diversity UK. Actually, they are blasphemers of God. So don't vote for Tories. So that's why Europhile Tories like Kenneth Clark and the Solbury among Europhile politicians should de facto join the Liberal Democrats. The party in which I became a member since a few months ago. Vote Liberal Democrats and Labour on 8 June 2017, then you will get a progressive Britain. Vote Liberal Democrats and Labour on 8 June 2017, then you will get an advanced Britain. Vote Liberal Democrats or Labour on 8 June 2017, then you will get a prosperous Britain, believe me. For Tories or UKIP on general election 2017, 8 June, you will get a disastrous Britain. You will get a destructive Britain. You will get a broken Britain. You will get a destroyed, a fatalistic destroy of the nation. Things that I really hate. 
Tories have been ruled for seven years, since May 2010, when David Cameron defeated Labour and the Gordon Brown at the time to become Prime Minister. What have David Cameron done in the UK? 85% 85, 85 of, of Cameron Premiership, not including in coalition government, are destructive, are destructive, mainly destructive Britain. Liberal Democrats between 2010 and 2015 are the main, is the, was the partner of Cameron in this thing. Because between 2010 and 2005, Labour, I mean, Conservatives and Liberal Democrats are former coalition, were formed coalition, and Liberal Democrats did nothing. Dominantly played by Conservatives, Lib Dems only play. Just a little, just a little. That's the fact that I want to show you that David Cameron, like what Danny, like what Danny Skinner from Labour Party said, is a dodgy Dave, not a dodgy Dave, but a bullshit Dave. He played the dominant role in his premiership during the coalition with the Liberal Democrats, and Liberal Democrats did get nothing. Not less less involvement. Only two to five percent involvement from the Liberal Democrats, and the rest played by Conservatives. That's why Dennis Skinner said David Cameron was a dodgy Dave, and I agree with Mr. Sk Mr. Skinner. And I agree with Dennis Skinner. I think he should run for. I think Dennis Skinner should run for Labour leadership at the time when Ed Miliband, when Ed Miliband resigned from Labour le leadership in 2015. Dennis Skinner should run for Labour leadership at the time instead of picking Jeremy Corbyn. After the referendum, also Labour hold a, le a leadership election, and I, and I pre also prefer Dennis Skinner or Sadiq Khan to run, but they both refused refuse to run for Labour leadership. So that's why Jeremy Corbyn remained Labour leader and could potentially be Prime Minister. Previously, I previously I didn't support Labour Party nor Corbyn because of Jeremy Corbyn's act hypocrisy. Long time Eurosceptic. Long he's a long time Eurosceptic, far left far left Eurosceptic. But in the referendum, he changed his mind to stay in the European Union and now supports the trigger of Article Fifty that would impose Brexit. But now I've changed my mind. I think Jeremy Corbyn or Nick Clegg, not Tim Farron, I don't believe in Tim Farron. I don't believe in Tim Farron, I'm so sorry. Although I'm a member of Liberal Democrats, I don't believe in Tim Farron because, you know, he, Tim Farron is too kiddy. It's too kiddy to be Prime Minister. Well, Nick Clegg is a very lionistic Liberal Democrats ever. It's very ideological liberal democrats, very progressive liberal democrats, very centric, very centric, centristic liberal democrats, very Europeanistic liberal democrats, and a very passionate on British interests. Politician of the liberal democrats I've ever heard. So he should run for prime minister, not Tim Farron. I'm so sorry. So I will pick Tim Farron. So. Labour, I will pick Tim Farron, Liberal Democrats, I will pick Nick Clegg as Prime Minister. Although I will, although I will vote, of course, for Liberal Democrats and Labour on 8th June 2017 in general election. Sorry, Mr. Farron, I would not vote for you as Prime Minister. I will, I will prefer to vote Nick Clegg instead because he's a very, because he's, because he is a, suit, a suitable man to become Prime Minister, like Jeremy Corbyn. Or maybe Nick Clegg should become Prime Minister. Jeremy Corbyn became Deputy Prime Minister. It will, it will be a great coalition partner. But Theresa May stated that but Theresa May stated that Labour, Liberal Democrats and other coalition Labour, Liberal Democrats, SNP, Platt Cameron, the Greens Coalition would become a chaotic. I think Theresa May co create, created so many chaotic because of her alliance with the UK and a dodgy Farage. And a bullshit with a bullshit Farage and with a and with a blasphemer Farage. I tweeted 
previously, and I retracted my tweet. Yeah, that Labour Party is haram to be voted by British Muslim on 8 June 2017. I retracted that. I stated haram because of Jeremy Corbyn's atheism, in which Quran stated that atheism is kafir. According to Abdullah Yusuf Ali's tafsir, kafir means disbelief. Disbelieve in God. And Jeremy Corbyn does not believe in God, so does Nick Clegg. Actually, Nick Clegg is also a kafir because of he, he is an atheist. He does not believe in God. <laughs> like Jeremy Corbyn. But I think, yeah, I should not discuss about that. I should not discuss about Clegg's and Corbyn's atheism. Not the right time. It's not the right time. I retracted that. So, if, you, if British Muslims wants to vote for Labour, that's, that's okay. Because Labour, Liberal Democrats, SNP, Plaid Cambria and the Greens Coalition will create, I believe, will create a stable Britain, a stronger Britain. And the target is to stop Brexit. Brexit is an irony. It is a tragedy for Britain. It's because of blasphemy. You know, Brexit is an extreme blasphemy of God. Brexit is mainly driven by immigration. Immigration issues and anti-diversity issues. Brexiteers, as I, as I said in my previous blogs, in my, in my previous tweets on Twitter, as a blasphemer of God. Because God, because it's God who created diversity in the UK. God who wanted a diversity in the UK as well as Lon as well as in London, as well as in London. God who wants to create the UK as a moderate country, not a Christian country, not a secular country. And God has driven many European, many pro-European Britons to hold four marches for Europe. Yeah. Because God because God doesn't deserve Brexit. I think Britain should I think I think Britain should involve God in politics because I believe Britain is the most religious country in the European Union. Unlike most of European Union members, which are sick Unlike, unlike most European Union members, which are secularistic, except Finland. <laughs> Only the UK and Finland are the non-secular and not a non-religious member members of the European Union. The UK and Finland are not are not secular members of the Euro of the European Union. So I think, so I think UK and Finland should involve God in politics to be as an antithesis of what EU have called a secularistic most of EU members are secular but UK and Finland not not a secular state not even a religious state so that's why I think the UK and Finland should involve God in politics in accordance with the UK motto, do you and more important, God in my life. So that so British people should so many of so British people should believe in God. Politics should be based on believing in God. That's all. Inform God in politics. But I think in religious but I think Brit Britain is a very liberal state, it's a very democratic state. So in religious in, so in religion in the UK is so definitely fine. But I think if you Britons who believe in God, you just put God in every aspect in your life. That's it. Brexit is a blasphemy of God. And it should not be happen. And it should not be happen. If Brexit really happened, God will create, God will send many disasters to the UK. Because Brexit is driven by arrogancy. Brexit is driven by American arrogancy. Why? Because America is still not in good economy. 
since the 2008 financial crisis. You should remember. The British pound valued higher than the US dollar. So that's why June 2016, the US picked, picked Britain out from the European Union in order to steal pounds from the Bank of England, then convert it to, to US dollars at the Federal Reserve. It's because of stealers. It's because of American stealers. It's because of American stealers that cause Brexit. God doesn't want Brexit, but the US wants Brexit. You should know this. US wanted a divided European Union. At first, by Brexit. First, by Brexit. A US driven policy to steal money from the Bank of England. Because the US cannot steal euros from the European Central Bank in Germany. Because Germany is very strong very strong opponent. Actually, Germany is a very strong opponent of the US in the European Union. But in the whole Europe, not only Germany, Russia and Greece, Russia, Turkey and Greece are the, are the main hardline American opposition. In the whole Europe. Remember, Greece is also a member of the European Union. But the UK, you know, it's a former colony of the US. So the US could easily take, take the UK out from the European Union in order to steal pound sterling from... In order to steal the pound sterling from the Bank of England. And yes, many American olig oligarchs are now... And I feel comfortable with the US, with the UK money, with pound sterling then converted to, to US dollars, and then they perform like this. And like this. Then like this. That's American arrogancy. That driven Brexit. That's American arrogancy, that driven Brexit. And American people should be responsible for Brexit. Remember that. Yeah. Tories are pro-US party. Tories and the UK are Eurosceptics. They prefer special they prefer a special relationship with the US. A special relationship that will destroy Britain. Because that special relationship is mainly a white cloth over a hidden agenda once again over a hidden agenda stealing trillions of pounds sterling from the bank of england then converted to us dollars at the federal reserve just note that it's good for britain to block Donald Trump to visit the UK because Trump's visit to the UK he will steal lots of pounds to his personal to his personal bank account. So Donald Trump is elected president where the main voters are stealers of pounds sterling, stealers of Japanese yen, stealers of Chinese yuan. Why Donald Trump now put the, puts a high war on China? Because Donald Trump cannot steal Chinese yuan from the People's Bank of China. Donald Trump, I believe, Donald Trump, he is a rich man. He's a rich man, but he needs more money to buy his huge taxes, to buy his huge debts. War, Trump's war on China, it's just an lip service because Trump wants to steal millions of yuan from the People's Bank of China and Beijing should be warned. 
and Beijing should be warned. Beijing should be warned. PBOC should be warned. Beijing should save, should save their money. Yeah, Beijing should save their money at the PBOC for the prosperity of Chinese people. Don't let the U.S., Wall Street, and Donald Trump and his allies, and his allies, and other American oligarchs stealing China, stealing Chinese money just to put, just in order to make oligarchs' personal accounts more higher just to make Donald Trump's stomach getting fat. Beijing should be warned. Yeah, Beijing should be warned. Yeah, do not, do not follow the footsteps of the UK in which driven out from the European Union just in order, not because of immigration issues actually, not because of Islamophobia issues actually, not because of inequality in the UK, but but Brexit is mainly driven by the US arrogancy. The yeah, arrogancy could create a destruction. Arrogancy means destruction will come. And America already suffered a great destruction since 2008 because of arrogancy, because of arrogancy superpower ship preserved by the US since 1945. America pulled Britain out from the European Union just to steal money, just to steal pound sterling from the Bank of England, convert it to the US dollar at the Federal Reserve. And that should not be happening again. If you vote Tories or UKIP, yeah. Goodbye, UK. There will be a divided kingdom between England and Wales. London, Scotland will become an independent state. And Northern Ireland will unite with southern part of Ireland or the Republic of Ireland. <laughs> because Tories and UK are the party for American business. Party who wants to sell British dignity to the United States of America. A party who want Tories and UK are the parties who want to sell Britain 100% to be owned by America. To be control Buckingham Palace and Wall Street should be controlled by the White House, according to the Tories and UKIP. London should be controlled by American oligarchs, according to Tories and UKIP. While Many Russian and Arab mil many Russian, Chinese and Arab millionaires or even billionaires are have their assets in London. That's what America not that's that's not what kind of America wants for. That's not wanted by the US. So in so the US demanded London should be owned by the US. So US oligarchs can easily own many properties, blah, 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 in London. And I didn't want, and I didn't want London to be sold to the US. And I didn't want British dignity sold to the US. And I don't want Queen Elizabeth II and the Downing Street must obey the White House. No. So. I think the second EU referendum must be held in order to keep Britain not only remain on the single market but also remain in the European Union. Second EU referendum to reverse the Brexit decision, decision to Britain. Britain, British, Britain stays in the European Union. If Britain stays with the European Union and form a great alliance with France and Germany, and with Russia, with Turkey, and with other strong power holds in the Euro in Europe, I believe sooner or later the United States of Europe 
will be created that starts from Ireland to Russia, Ireland to Kazakhstan, from Georgia or from Azerbaijan, from Cyprus to Iceland, from Turkey to Iceland, from Cyprus to Norway, from Malta to Norway, from Portugal to Russia, a United States of Europe or a United Europe as a sovereign state that composed of many sub-sovereign states, it will end American arrogancy, superpowership. Europe must be a self-reliant Europe and Britain should be part of it. Britain should be self-reliant Britain, should be strong British Britain, should be powerful Britain. Don't sell your dignity to the US. Don't sell British and European dignity to the US. Actually, anti-European parties are wanted a special relationship with the US, but they didn't realize that the US will steal their money, that the US will steal their reserve, because and the US will steal their best. And Brexit makes it open. And Brexit makes that US sick makes that US dirty hidden agenda open and easy to and easy to be realized. Britain had already taken out from the European Union because because as I said earlier, Britain because as I said earlier, America wants British money to recover to recover the US. That's the fact that I wanna tell that's the fact that I wanna tell you. Okay, that's the fact that I want to tell you. Another fact that I want to tell you is so simple. The fact that I want to tell you is the yeah, another fact that I want to tell you about the US involvement in Brexit is Brexit is mainly driven by the US oligarch. Because, because of what? The US oligarchs are greedy. Greedy to control London. Greedy to control British companies. So they can have lots of pound sterling as they want. Because again, pound sterling valued higher than the US dollar. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of American arrogancy superpowership. And remember, Brexit must be stopped. If Brexit really happened, goodbye Britain. You will be so. Goodbye Britain. America will control Britain. And Britain will, 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 will no longer become a suffering state. And instead, it's a dependent state. Dependency of the United States. And instead, it's the dependency of the United States of America. Don't let the U.S. steal lots of pounds sterling. And Britain should be a self-reliant Britain. Britain should be part of the European Union. Britain should rejoin the European Union in order to stop Brexit. In order to stop American stealing. In order to stop American control. In the U.K. Leavers. Brexiteer, Brexiteer stated. Always take back control of Britain. Yeah. Take back control of Britain to the US. Take back control of Britain to the US. Let's take back Britain to the European Union. On 8 June 2017, don't forget to vote Labour, Lib Dems, the SNP, Plaid Cymru and the Greens to stop Brexit. Stop Brexit. Stop Brexit. Because Brexit is the is the key for the US to steal lots of pounds sterling. Don't don't vote UKIP, don't vote Tories. They are a party that strongly support American bugglers in the UK. Thank you very thank you very much and
God bless all of you. Great Britain.